Hi, my name's Brad. I'm head of product at Thrive Themes, and I'm recording this video today for developers to share with you a really exciting new piece of software called Thrive Automator. Thrive Automator is built with developers in mind. It will help you get more out of your WordPress plugins, your apps, your services, your SaaS, whatever digital tool it is that you create. It'll help you get more out of your own tool, and it will help you provide more for your customers and clients without it costing you anything. Thrive Automator is free as well. Now, the best way to describe Thrive Automator is that it is a single integration that, so to speak, rules them all. You can integrate once with Thrive Automator and through doing so, your app, plugin or service will be able to communicate with anything else that also talks to Thrive Automator. It is installed on WordPress websites and because it operates inside of the WordPress ecosystem, uh, it can automate processes that have to do with visitors arriving at websites, logging in, logging out, or it, basically it has visibility over all the events that occur inside of a website. But you can also make it speak with external tools as well, and I'll describe how that works shortly. In this video, I want to show you what Thrive Automator is. I will demonstrate how it looks and how people will build an automation. Then I'll tell you what your integration would look like if you choose to integrate with Thrive Automator. And then lastly, I'll show you how incredibly easy it is to get started building your own integration. We've really focused on making this easy for the developer. Before I demonstrate Thrive Automator, I want to ask if this sounds familiar. Does this sound familiar to you? You have a maybe a WordPress plugin or an app or a digital service and your customers are asking for integrations. They want your product to integrate with something else. And that specific integration is really important to those customers. So you invest development time and resources building that direct integration. But by the time you ship that integration, there are requests from other customers for another integration. In fact, the list of integration requests just seems to keep growing. There are more and more SaaS products and apps and plugins that are popping up and the list is growing faster than you can even keep up with. And as a result, you spend most of your development time just integrating and not enhancing or refining your core software product. And I would consider this quite a dangerous position to be in because if you neglect adding new features or refining the power of your software, it leaves you open to market disruption. It means that other developers or other companies could come in and take some of your market share. So it would be a lot easier if you could just integrate once with a tool or service that handles the hard work, and then you get back to working on your core features, knowing that because you've done this one integration, your customers can connect with anything else within that ecosystem really easily. That's the problem that we are trying to fix with Thrive Automator. So Thrive Automator, firstly, it is 100% free. It's not even freemium. That means we're not restricting premium features until people pay for a pro version. It's truly free. It does operate on WordPress. So it is for users that have their own WordPress website and can install Thrive Automator on it. And there is no limit to the number of automations or integrations available. It is fully API driven. Um, that means as a developer, you can get whatever you need to or want to out of it. You'll see how flexible it is soon. It's really easy to integrate with, and we have editable code templates, which I'll demonstrate soon. That means that your development teams don't even need to start from scratch. They can just use those templates and really quickly and easily build an integration and then move on. And really, it is one integration that will connect with everything. For this to make sense, I think... It all starts with a demonstration. So I'm going to show you how Thrive Automator works. So this is the back end of my WordPress website, and I have Thrive Automator installed. That's what we're looking at on the screen right now. And I have two automations already built. But to demonstrate, I will start by building a brand new automation. So I'll click Add New. The first step to building an automation is to choose a trigger. And here we have some triggers that are provided by Thrive Automator itself. For example, an incoming webhook, Thrive Automator can catch any webhooks. And as I say, because it operates inside of WordPress, we have available a whole bunch of different WordPress 
triggers and we're going to add more. Things like when a user leaves a comment on your website or they log in or log out, or when a new account is created. Then what you'll see here is there are a few other apps. These are Thrive Themes applications and on my WordPress website, I have them installed. So while these apps are installed as plugins on my site, they're able to add more triggers inside of Thrive Automator that users can then use however they please. So for example, Thrive Apprentice, this is one, uh, this is like an online course platform that we have. If I click on this, you'll see we have user completes a lesson in a course that could be a trigger or user receives access to a product which can be a single or multiple courses. But to demonstrate how this works, I'm going to start just with a simple WordPress trigger. We're going to go user creates a new account. Now here inside my trigger, I'm able to set some conditions on the data that is available inside of that trigger. So I can choose right now set to always trigger or by filtering it, I could say uh, when the last logged in date is you know, more than 30 days ago if I wanted to. And so this trigger, this automation would only run if those trigger conditions are also met. But uh, I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm just gonna leave it to run um, always trigger and I'll click done. So that's my trigger for this automation. Now I choose an action. This is what's going to happen as a result of my automation triggering. I can filter the data again if that makes sense. So I could interject different filters after action steps. I could delay it for five, five days, an hour, however much time I want. Uh, and then I have all my other apps adding their own actions as well. So let's say I'm going to click email here and I choose add user in autoresponder. This is going to load up. And uh, what I'll be able to do here is choose an autoresponder. And on my website, I have uh, active autoresponder integrations for active campaign and clever reach. So let's say I choose clever reach. This is an offsite email service. And I can now add a user to that service. I can choose what list. It's going to go with a demo list and give this a moment to load. All right, there we go. I'm going to choose a form. We'll say no form. Forms are what you would use if you want to pass data, if you want to pass data through a particular method that's important for your service. But then we'll go with field mapping. Maybe I want to do some custom field mapping. Uh, and we've got one here. I call it clever text. Clearly, that's a <laughs> it's a test field, but I can pass dynamic data into there. So I could say, uh, let's go, the registration date is going to be passed into this field and saved in that field against that user in CleverReach. I'll choose it's going to be a single opt-in, and then maybe I'll add a tag like uh, user. I'll say, and I click done. I can stack as many actions as I want, but essentially I've just finished an automation. So I'll set this to active and move my face out of the way, save and finish. So that's how easy it is to build an automation. I'm going to jump back in because what I, want to show, what I want to show you, what's so exciting about this is that inside of Thrive Automator, you can add your own app and your own triggers. So inside the trigger app category, you can list your own application, include your icon, include the name of your brand or app or plugin. And when a user clicks on it, they'll be able to choose any triggers that you have made available. Triggers could be things like uh, checkout purchase completed or a quote calculator on a website is submitted or a calendar event that is booked. It's not just that though. You can also add your own actions, of course, which should make sense, where it could be something like send a text message or add a user to a spreadsheet, or register a user for an event. Maybe you have like a uh, event management tool. You can, once again, list your own app and uh, the available actions within it. So you only need to worry about your part of the integration and then users can string all kinds of complex automations together. You're also able to define data objects or extend existing data objects. Of course, your data object is like a collection of available data that's known. So maybe if you have a checkout app, you might have something like a product purchase trigger. And within it, you'll have product data and user data. So your product data object 
uh, you will just be able to provide information about what data is available there and Thrive Automator will intelligently figure out how to filter it. So you could set a category ID if your products um, you know, are grouped in categories and based on a couple of lines of code, Thrive Automator will either display this as a dropdown, as a checkbox, as radio buttons. It'll do all the hard work of filtering on the data that you have provided. Now, if you have a mailing list or a CRM, there is something else that you can do as well. So uh, it's not just that you can provide triggers and actions as you saw before. I showed you the step add to email autoresponder. You can list your email autoresponder in that list as well. And you can choose to enable custom fields, tags, uh, lists, forms, opt-in settings, anything like that. But what's really exciting is that if you have a mailing list tool or a CRM, by integrating with Thrive Automator, you will also uh, get your service registered in Thrive Architect. Now, Thrive Architect is a visual website builder for WordPress and uh, our visual editor it works across a, um, a bunch of different plugins that we have. Thrive Architect, Thrive Leads, Thrive Quiz Builder, Thrive Apprentice, Thrive Theme Builder, they all use our visual interface. So users can drag and drop a form onto the page, add a connection, and if you've integrated with Thrive Automator and your app or plugin is installed on the same website where Thrive Automator and Thrive Architect exists, then users will be able to pick your mailing list or CRM and add data to it straight from the forms on the website right there. So the advantage of integrating with Thrive Automator right now, because it is quite a new product, is that um, you'll get access to a, a load of integrations that we've already added. So we've added 20 plus email integrations with things like ActiveCampaign, MailChimp, uh, ConvertKit, Aweber, whole bunch of different email tools. Uh, we've added WordPress uh, triggers and actions. Same with WooCommerce, which is the most popular free e-commerce platform that works within, um, within WordPress. And we've added support for incoming and outgoing webhooks. So you can catch a webhook in Thrive Automator and uh, that can be your trigger. Or you can send data out from your website somewhere else with a send webhook action. Um, by integrating with Thrive Automator, it's, as of right now, it works for all of uh, the tools in Thrive Suite, like I mentioned, Thrive Architect, Thrive Ovation, Thrive Apprentice, Thrive Leads, Thrive Theme Builder, Thrive Quiz Builder, all of them we have built our integration with, and our tools are used by over 20,000 business owners who are building their own online businesses with Thrive Suite products and are installed on over 100,000 websites. So we would love for you to get started and to try and integrate with Thrive Automator. But to make it really easy, our development team have built two different sample plugins that you can get started with. And I'll show you what they look like. So the first one for all integrations, I jump over to the Thrive Themes GitHub, we have Thrive Automator Docs. And I'm gonna open this one in another tab, and third party autoresponder. So first in Thrive Automator Docs, if I jump across to the wiki tab here, we have all the information that you need for how you can create your own actions, triggers, and filters. Everything that you need is there. And you can download this sample plugin and go through it. It's, it's really well structured. Um, we explain how to use that plugin. You can basically plug and play. It's up to you how complex or how simple you want your integration to be. And you know, it's possible that some integrations will just be a matter of one or two hours to integrate and then merge this code or this plugin with your own and your integration is live. We have a, another plugin here, which is for third party email autoresponders. This is for people with their own mailing list tool or CRM. Um, so this specific plugin, I wanna actually demonstrate how this works. Um, I've opened this in a code editor that you can see here. And for example, when you download this and your development team go through and edit it, you'll see it's really simple. We explain what to do. If your email service, if you want to implement tags, then you just follow the steps here. You set this to true, follow the steps, and then Thrive Automator will be able to apply tags to your service. 
Same with custom fields and so on and so forth. Now, because Thrive Automator is installed on a WordPress website, if you have an external application um, that doesn't have a WordPress plugin, you can use this example one as your own WordPress plugin if you'd like to, rather than merging it with an existing one. So to show you what that looks like on my website, uh, I have this sample plugin, Clever Reach for Thrive Themes. That is the exact one that I just showed you on our GitHub. When that is installed on this website, if I click into it, uh, we have the general settings for that integration. So I'll let that load. That's my information. That's how this plugin can talk to an external mailing list tool and make it visible and seen inside of the Thrive users website. So if I go to Thrive dashboard, and here, this is where we have some of our own pre-existing API integrations. This is where users would manage those. If I go to API connections and I click manage connections, let me give this a moment to load up. And here you will see under third party connections, we have that plugin that has listed that connection inside the Thrive users website and shows that it's active and available on forms uh, built with Thrive Architect as well as in Thrive Automator. If you would like to integrate, we would love to hear about your experience. We want to know if there's anything that we could change or anything that doesn't make sense in the documentation. Uh, we'd really like to see this and this ecosystem grow. And once you've built your integration, you can submit it to us and we will list it on our apps website. So we go to apps.thrivethemes.com. Uh, this is a place where customers can browse and see what integrations are available for Thrive Automator. When you come here, you'll see submit your Thrive Automator app. That is your way of telling us that you have an integration, we'll verify that integration, and then we will list it here for our customers to discover. Anyway, if you'd like to get started, visit thrivethemes.com forward slash automator forward slash developers, or here on the screen, I do have the links to the two different GitHub sample plugins, but probably easiest just to go to github.com forward slash thrivethemes and get started there. Don't forget to let us know how your integration has gone.